Right guys, we're in the man cave today and uh, what the job is, it's bleeding the brakes uh, or changing the brake fluid actually on the Suzuki 1250 FA. So I'm dealing with the front of the bike today. So all you need is an 8mm spanner, okay, and some call them a Phillips, some call them a posi driver and then there's another Japanese name but this particular one whatever it is it fits perfectly on the master cylinder for me anyway and also what you need is your pipe and a bit of bottle to catch the um, old fluid in as well and pl plenty of clean cloths uh, rags to make sure you don't destroy your paint paintwork and what I have done to make things easier, because I've got my dot four brake fluid in a gallon can, well, a five liter or whatever it is, four and a half liter, I've actually put it inside this bottle to make it easier for me to pour into the reservoir. Um, so there you can see there, that's the lovely fresh, clean brake fluid. And that's what's going in. So I will be taking half, this won't go to waste. What I'll do, I'll put it back into my um, big large plastic container again because I do use quite a bit of that. Right guys and girls, we're going to crack on and if it's the first time you've actually stumbled on my channel, please hit that notif notification button and please subscribe. It'd be nice to get an extra few subscribers out of this. Thanks very much and we're going to crack. Thanks. So, right guys, let's get cracking on. So here is the main master cylinder for the brake fluid. So I'm going to put this old rag over there so it don't spill on the paintwork, just as a precaution. And also I've got some garage roll there. Yeah, the only reason I'm putting this down as well on top of the rag that if I do see any fresh spill on it it'll show up very quick that I can do something about it because you've really got to prevent the fluid from going on your paintwork or anything like that so now I'm just gonna tuck some uh, paper under there so I need to catch it on. I should put it all the way around. Um, but I'm just going to take it nice and easy anyway. So, loosen the, the two screws. That's number one. Number two, and then just gently lift it gently. Yeah. And I'm just going to rest that on there like that just for the time being then I'm going to go down at the front wheel at the caliper then we're going to take off this dust cap to prevent the dirt going inside there inside the bleed nipple now this bike's fairly fresh so you might have to put some releasing fluid on there or heat it up to let the um, aluminium expand from the steel if it does get tight but this won't be a problem on this one so I'm just going to pinch it open okay I've pinched it open and closed it there just to make sure I can move it and 
and now I'll get my pipe and place it over the bleed nipple and then I've got my bottle like I showed you at the beginning of the video and I've just pushed it through the top of the slit there to catch the old fluid now what I've actually got I've got this magnet magnetic hook and I'm just going to leave that there on the brake disc and I'm just going to hang that over there just out the way so I don't knock it um, and it'll be out of the way so now guys I'm going to pump the brake and I'm going to hold it in and at the same time release the bleed nipple and then close the bleed nipple and let that out and then do the same again and then release the bleed nipple and then close it again now I always close this when the lever is all the way back and once the bleed nipple is locked in place you release it and then start pumping again now I don't know can you see on this fluid it is actually spotless clean anyway but I'm just doing this video as a demonstration because I've had one or two people just driving me a bit saying that me fluid needs changing but I knew it was actually a reflection the way the photograph was taken but I thought to myself do you know what it'd be a video for you anyway so that's the reason but as you can see that fluid there is perfect okay and keep going now so what I'm going to do now I'm going to check this and as you can see it's still very high so there's no problem there whatsoever so I can keep doing this for a bit longer tedious but it's actually not a hard job you know and you only have to open it slightly and then pinch it up you know you can see the fluid there and there you know the fluid is actually fresh fluid but obviously when it was done before there was no video right guys and girls as you can see on the level it's gone down a bit so I'm now going to top it up So taking things very very gently because there's no rush take things nice and easy And then we keep repeating it.
now we're going to top it up again taking very taking care Now, depending on what kind of bike you've got, sometimes when you pump it and you pull it tight or let it out, sometimes the fluid moves up and down in here. Um, it's just that I know this bike and I know how she goes on me, so that's why I only leave it like that. I could actually leave it off altogether, but because there was a little bit of fluid under there, I'm just letting it drip back in rather than drip on the bike. But um, if it's the first time doing it and you're not too sure, just cover it so it don't spit up and go over on your paintwork on your tank because this stuff is not good for your paintwork whatsoever. Okay, and because I've been moving it and showing you, a little bit's come down there but it's okay. Right, I've topped up for the second time, so I'm going to continue at it. See the air coming out Now, I'm just letting you know, when I normally do this, I normally just have that pipe there and that pipe there going into the bottle. I've only got this extra pipe running into there just to demonstrate that everything's out of the way so you can see. But behind the scenes, when I do actually uh, take the camera down, I will disconnect the pipe here, slip it into the top of that bottle and just have a small pipe rather than it climbing up and down okay this is for demonstration purposes only just so you can see that you get a better visual at it but as i said it will that bottle will be connected to that there and it'll go directly into it and then it'll stop these kind of like uh, air traps okay just thought i'd point that out to you because it is a bit long for the job and you really do want to keep it as tidy as you can and basically that is all there is to it you know you've always got to keep checking on the master cylinder at the top you've still got to keep your eye on that do not let it go too low because it'll start drawing air into the system and that is something you don't want to do you want to keep away from that altogether so by keeping your eye on it and topping it up, you're staying safe. And what we're doing here, on the right hand side of the bike, as you're sitting on it, you do the exact same on the other side. You just repeat the, repeat the process on the other side, but the other side won't take as long, because we've already pumped down to the top here, um, the new fluid so the old fluid will only be in the lower pipes so it won't take as long but it's the exact same thing okay guys and girls it's the exact same thing and with another clean and dry piece of tissue wipe it around Now, do you see this? Because there's a little bit of uh, fluid on it already, just get rid of it. Don't reuse it. That way you won't make any mistakes. 
and you place that back on there and you put the screws in and if you've seen any of my videos I am a little devil for screwing these in by hand or any nut or bolt to make sure it's way in before you start a lot of people might just stick it on the end of the screwdriver and you have to make that noise and all you see that it helps if you make the noise that's what my father always said to me so now you do that one up then you do that one up okay just gently pinch them up don't stand on them no need to stand on anything like that okay and another piece of clean tissue and wipe it all around okay Okay, just check, double checking everything out. Put that sound. With a bit of tissue underneath there to pull the pipe off. And don't forget your little dust cap. And don't forget, if you do do what I do, pour the magnet off. And there is your fluid inside there. It's not a difficult job. But it's very important that you keep the fluid away from all paintwork. So guys, as you can see, there's only a little bit of fluid what come off the back of my hand there. Never went on the paintwork at all. Right guys and girls, please give the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if it helped you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really appreciate if uh, I could start getting a few subscribers out there uh, just to follow my channel. Until next time, thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Until next time, thanks very much. Stay safe out there and keep it in between the ditches. Thank you very much.